So I'm gonna do a quick talk about multiplicity. It's gonna be really fast. You guys ready? I just did this with another student and I think it helped him understand it better. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's say you have this function, this polynomial function, and it has one factor. <laughs> it has one x-intercept. Do you guys know what the x-intercept is for this? Three. It's three. How do you know? Well, you can just take the one factor, which is x minus three, and you set it equal to zero, right? You take the p out, you put a zero there for the, for the y value, and then you solve it. And you get three. That's your x-intercept. So the question is, what is the multiplicity of this three right now? Three. The multiplicity of this three is three. one. Why? Because it comes from one factor. That's it. It's one. So is the multiplicity even or odd? odd. It would be odd. Good job. Good job. Okay. If you didn't get it, you'll probably get it next. Okay. Now look at this polynomial. It's not one factor here. It's two factors and they're the same factors. So, oh my goodness. So, you know, you would multiply this out and what have you, whatever, but it still only has one x-intercept. What is the multiplicity of this x-intercept here? Two. It is two. Why? Because it comes from two factors. So, is the multiplicity even or odd? Even. The multiplicity is even because it comes from one, two factors. You guys still with me? Okay, what if, what if there was, ooh, oh my goodness. What if there was three? What if there's three factors? Now, what's the multiplicity of this x-intercept? Three. three. And is it odd or even? Odd. It is odd. Oh my goodness. Yes. What does it change? Ooh, I'm going to tell you in a second. I'll tell you right now. Okay, look at this. Remember when there was just one? Remember it was just one factor? This is what the, the, the graph would have looked like. It would have just been a line, okay? The line goes through one x-intercept and it, the end behavior is down up, okay? Uh, but that, that doesn't matter. The end behavior doesn't matter. What matters is it goes through the x-intercept like that. Now, what if, what if there was two? You guys remember when there was two? I'm gonna take off this one. When there's two. What's the multiplicity of the three right now? Two. Do you guys know what this will look like if we actually multiply it out? It'd be x, x squared minus six x plus nine, right? I mean, if you guys have multiplied before, uh, you know that this, when you multiply it out, it's gonna end up with this. And this is a parabola. That's a quadratic expression. And so what happens? Well, we're going down and it goes bling and we bounce off of this dude. Look, it bounces. That's important. It's important that you know that it bounces, okay? Now, what if, what if uh, we didn't have two factors? What if we had three factors? What's the multiplicity of the three now? Three. three. What, what's supposed to happen? Uh, the degree actually will be that also. What's supposed to happen at um, the x-intercept now? If we're at three and the multiplicity is three because there's three factors, what's going to happen at that X-intercept. It's going to go through it like this. Okay. All right. And then, uh, you know, I'm not going to multiply it out, but uh, what, if, what if there's another one? Oh, snap. What's the multiplicity of three now? Four. Okay. So I would have to put another one right here. So if it's four, you know what would happen? Yes. Bounce. Bounce. Okay. So whenever the multiplicity is even, bounce. bounce, okay? So this guy means this, even equals bounce. <laughs> Such a mathematical term, huh? Odd means through. Ooh, ooh. Oh, McKenna, you hit like a, a nerve right there. You just said, is the degree the same as the multiplicity? And I would say yes, but here's the thing. When we're talking about degree of the polynomial, that's the highest exponent of the whole polynomial. When I'm talking about multiplicity, I'm talking about just the factor. Now, this in this case, uh, the degree equals the, the, the multiplicity for three. But if I had another... Like, let's say I had this, x minus two. 
Okay, that means I have two x-intercepts. I have a positive three and a negative two. What's the degree of this whole polynomial? What's the degree of this? Three. It's not three. There's one, two, three, four, five total. Five. So the degree is five. But what is the multiplicity for the three? One, two, three, four. So that one's four. What's the multiplicity for the two? One. one. Okay, so we would bounce off the three. We would go through the two. That's what multiplicity tells you. Okay, it tells you if you're going to uh, bounce or go through.